how easy is it to actually scan a part? Well, what you do is you take an actual piece of paper and you put a dot on there. Uh, preferably if you do it uh, in uh, like paint or something like that, Microsoft Paint, um, that way you're not using a felt pen or anything like that. Um, you kind of line that up into the lights and then you'll go over to the computer and as you can see I'm moving that dot around and you're also seeing that if I move this back and forth like that that will change the clarity so once we have the clarity and the lights all, all perfect what we can do is we can close out of the actual program that programs the actual focusing of the camera then we can go over to our scan anything and you'll see the picture come up now what you need to do is go into calibration mode and once you get into calibration mode here's your smooth brightness servo and feed rate the only thing that really is important on this one is actually the feed rate sometimes the servo gain but most of the time it's just going to be your actual feed rate so you can run it you'll see it's going to find it it's going to go find it again If you look really closely, you'll see that um, the actual servo gains and all that, it, it knows exactly what the delay is when it actually goes and goes around the part. Okay, so after you've done that, what you can do is, you know, obviously take a part, any part that you're trying to copy, and you can take that and just kind of hold that over a white piece of paper. It makes good contrast, okay? And after you get good contrast, this is what you're going to see on your screen. But don't worry, you can actually take and you can actually jog this. You can set the jog rate, feed, feed and speed on that. You also can do the smoothest, brightness, servo, and um, the actual feed rate. So I like to put lines on there. I like to know exactly where it is. We're going to go into edge following, which is down here in the corner. And then after you go to there, um, let's go find out where the edge of the part is. There's an edge of the part. Okay? That little line right there is going to tell you that you're going straight upward. And then basically all you do is you hit run. Um, now it's just going to follow the part. If it cancels out like that, that means one or two things. Something's not set with your gain or your, your brightness or anything like that. So um, we're going to go with no. It asked, it asked me for that, but it, it was not, it, the game wasn't set right. So right here, we can actually set the darkness and the tone. Um, sometimes it does help um, if you actually um, increase the smoothing in it and your brightness. And now, what it's going to do is going to follow that part. But as I can see, it doesn't like that. So I'm going to stop that, stop the recording, and I'm going to go and shut off the lights, and we'll get a, better, a lot better results. Okay, we're back here when it's actually all dark. And we're going to run it again. As you can see, it's running a little bit smoother around that edges. And if you look over here, you can actually see it run around the parts. And going back to the screen, you can actually see the screen. It's actually going, going around the corners.
course you can set the you can set the the feed rate and in, in, in the gain um, th that will kind of slow it down okay so the badge is actually traced do you want to keep that of course we're going to say yes because it was actually a good trace now what we can do is since in that part there's some holes you can actually go up to one of these holes and we're going to hit run again See how it had that little dot right here? That's why it slowed down a little bit. Um, that's something you can clean out in the file if you want to clean it out. But here we go. We can try to do a run here. A little bright, but it is what it is. Still going to try to follow it. Yeah, you didn't like it. All right, so we're going to go back over here. And then we can slow down the gain feed rate. Here, and this feed rate, and maybe turn back the brightness a little bit. Now let's see what we get. Okay, that actually gave us an O. So then, we gotta go find the other holes. So I'm gonna guess we're gonna go straight over this way. And we can probably run that same feed rate on that. We'll see what that does. Worked it right. You'll see, you'll see it in the actual the, the print pretty quick here. that did is that actually took and went around this little circle right here now what we're gonna do is now we got one more little piece that we got to do and it should be down in here all right and then we're gonna go around along an oval um, which is usually hard and you need to make it accurate as you can see, it's actually going around it. And it's going to ask us if we want to save that. Okay, so all those are saved. <coughs> Excuse me. Now you can go and save that as a test part. We're going to label that number two. Bear with me here. We're in the dark. And we're going to save that as number two. Now we can open up, you know, drafting program. Obviously, this one's running SolidWorks. Um, we could narrow this window down a little bit. Um, we're going to go File Open. We go to Test Parts here. To DXF file. Click on the DXF file. We're going to import as a new part, and there's our finished product. Now you see all these segments that are here. Don't worry about those. Cancel out the, the sketch here. And if we were to go into features, um, you can actually tell that it actually is all completely closed. Um, we're going to give it you know, about a half inch. So in other words, this would be like a half inch piece. And that's what your half inch piece would look like. So in other words, not perfect, um, but at the end of the day, um, you could take this and you could cut that part um, and you would get that duplication of that part. Um, so in other words, basically you can file, save as, go into your test parts, you can save it as a part, and now you have a part. It's as simple as that. That's that part that's sitting right down there. And if you look at other cool little features, we actually have markers that can actually do markers on your, uh, do your crosshairs. 
So in other words, not only is that mount universal for doing that, but you can also put cross here. So in other words, if you were looking at a dot, like so, you could put that on the crosshairs. So in other words, these crosshairs, and then you could turn them off when you need them. Turn them on when you need them.